Hello, everybody. Happy Monday morning. It's your boy, Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelorette Recap, A Guy's Review, which starts June 7th, 2021. Can you believe it? It is a wrap on production of Katie Thurston's season of The Bachelorette. What does that mean for everyone? We'll talk about it. We'll share some videos from the rap party from Tasha and Caitlin's uh, premiere job co-hosting. Uh, the thing will be interesting. Will we will we see Caitlin Bristow and Tasha Adams called co-hosts or will they be called mentors? We'll have to see what Bachelor producers will do to brand them. And it might mean a little bit about what their plans are with Chris Harrison moving forward. Now, I hope we can all be a Katie and make a positive season out of this. I don't want any, I mean, you know, rightful criticism's okay, but I want I want to rise above whatever drama we've been living in, living in with past seasons of The Bachelor and Bachelorette. I hope this is a good one. Now, we look at Katie's Instagram here. No posts, you know, when they go when they go on the show, they kind of disappear. And look at this. Don't you love the time capsule of life? No post since March 15th when she was announced that she was going to go find her husband or wife. We'll have to see how that goes uh, in New Mexico. So uh, she's been out there doing her thing. We haven't heard from her. And all of a sudden, it's a wrap. And yesterday or this weekend, they dumped the promo, which I'll play the promo for you guys. You might have seen it. It was, uh, pr I think it premiered on the Oscars. I mean, what a glow up. Can you imagine that? You go from Go from a like a regional bank manager. I mean, it feels like a like a like a, a it's a fairy tale. It's a fairy tale. This is a modern day fairy tale. She's going over there. She's a regional bank manager doing her thing. Releases some funny TikToks. Oh, she you know crapped her pants at work. Everyone loves her. They just love her authenticity. So she goes on the show. She finishes like twelfth, right? She doesn't even Matt James is like you're cool, but I'm into this girl that's going to cause me problems. So instead, she's like fine, whatever. She holds her ground. She defends bullies. She admits when she's wrong. Then at the after the final row ceremony, the other girls are like, you ain't this, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know what? My favorite quote, he who laughs last, laughs best. She who laughs last, laughs best. And I bet she's laughing right now, hopefully with a uh, nice uh, big rock on her ring. We'll have to see how it goes. I don't have any spoilers. Don't really want them. But if anyone wants to send them my way, by all means, the DMs are open. Speaking of which, where is the, um, I don't see this, any, you know, got to make sure I promote the, uh, Hold on, folks. There, hold on. There it is. You can follow me at Dean Niels. All right, so let's get into it. Let's play the a trailer. I'm not going to play the audio of the trailer as it is a, I believe, a Demi Lovato song. Is that right? It's it's one of those Disney songs. I don't know. It's called like Ring or something, but it'll trip my algorithm, my uh, monetization here. And Daddy needs a new pair of shoes for his fiance. So here it is, folks. You see scenes from her exiting last season going like, oh, I wish it could have been better. And then it's like, I'm a bad chick. You know what I mean? She's dragging the rose petals, flicking them off. Like, who wants a piece of this? And she, you know, goes back to flashes from last season where she's like, I'm not going to take anything from anybody. Slow-mo shots of her revealing like she's on The Voice. There it is. Smells that rose. Smells all right. She's swinging. Is that one of those sex swings? We'll have to wait and see. Be a Katie. I guess that's going to be the quote. Flick it off. She isn't going to be taking no trash from nobody. Now, look, I loved it. I'm a simple guy. I love it. I've I've supported Katie. I just I've always thought she was a breath breath a breath a breast breath of fresh air. Wow, over here. But you know, you're gonna get this is where you're gonna get on Reddit, guys. This is just what you're gonna get. A lot of people just hated the edit. And look, you have to remember, we're still in a pandemic. We're still in quarantine. We're still trying to figure all of that out. So these shows normally have full uh, sets and design teams, and they go to the uh, green screen studio, and they shoot their thing, and they use whatever tools they have. Chances are they shot this in New Mexico, wherever they could get a chance to, uh, you know, make this production happen. And uh, probably, in, you know, so, so you have to keep that in mind when it comes to the quality of it. I thought it was good. I thought it was nice. But of course, the top comments on Reddit, the bad styling aside, even the editing of this promo just feels so dated. This is a major franchise. Surely they have a huge budget. I don't understand why it's so bad. This compared to Hannah B's movie trailer style promo just makes it seem like the producers of The Bachelor don't give a flip anymore. That promo was fantastic. What the heck are they talking? What are they doing here? Hopefully they have better ones coming. My neighbor actually produced... Oh, so it, a lot of people are just going, you know what? This is off of... It's just if Reddit. It's just a place. I mean, everyone needs therapy, right? We all need therapy. But if we could just get our therapy in before we go to Reddit comments, maybe we won't be so... You know, the next Jurassic Park movie is just going to be a bunch of Karens. 
you know, it's like, you thought raptors were scary. Now check out this lady in Arkansas with a Bob haircut. Is that a thing from Bob? Yeah, okay. All right, folks. So that's it. That's it. That's her promo. I thought it was great. I did. I did. I thought it was great. You know what? Katie's the type you could put, she could be on like Project Runway. You know how they do episodes where they're like, all right, find an outfit in this janitor's closet. Katie would walk out of that janitor's closet with a mop on her head and like a caution sign, like slippery when wet. And she'd be like, you know, she'd just be like, whatever. You know, she just like hands the boys the, uh, the mop and they're like, oh, whoa, you know, she's just sexy. She's got the, she's got that energy about her. My point is, is like, she's going to do well, no matter what environment they put her, they put her in, whether she's on a resort in New Mexico or, you know, you know, if she's traveling to the Galapagos, Galapagos Islands, you know, washing turtles. I don't know folks, but anyway, there she, again, this is the voice. She's on the voice now. She just, you know, they, they literally like, all right, what are we going to do? We got one voice chair. We got a stiletto and some glitter. <laughs> they go to Michael's. <laughs> they figure out. All right. And uh, you got to give them credit. I mean, even I know how to do better Photoshop than that uh, ring. Be a Katie. I think she's great. They got some stairs for her. They were doing some construction. So they were like, all right, give us those. Give us that porch and uh, we'll, we'll be over. She does fine. She does fine. All right. So here we go. We've got uh, Caitlin Bristow and... Tasha, I guess Tasha's so famous now. We're just calling her Tasha. She doesn't need the Adams anymore. What's the point of a last name if you know who we're talking about? We know when we say Tasha who we're talking about. So this is them. Um, oh, they got a Happy Trail song. I can't play it, so I don't want to. So this is them. Look how beautiful is this. I hope that Katie Season actually is able to explore some of the beautiful terrain of New Mexico. I'm sure they will highlight um, native culture. I hope they do that without desecrating it. I hope they're able to highlight it and maybe even even promote um, uh, you know uh, some some positive things with that. We'll have to see what they do over there. And uh, you know they were they were there for five weeks, so they got some horses. This is them. This is how bad the airports are these days. That they decided, you know what? I know we got to go back to Canada. Let's just take a couple stallions or whatever. I don't. I'm, I'm not an equestrian. By the way, where's Grace Amerling? We need to get her over here to see if Matt James will let her come hang out with the girls. Beautiful, beautiful shots of the co-host riding off in the sunset. Happy trails to you. And then this is, you got to do, this is what, <laughs> listen, you don't come to my channel just to hear the news. You come to hear my point of view. I love that every woman out there, I'm looking at you, all right? I hope you feel called out, has to take a Instagram story on an airplane. <laughs> like they, like no one's ever been on an airplane before. My, my, you, know, you know what happens if we ever sit? My, my fiance, she'll, next thing you know, she starts taking a video of the plane as we're flying, like out the window. And then I start taking a video of her taking a video of the plane just to show how basic life is. And it's like, can't we just get on a plane, go to aisle 34D, close our eyes and have a red eye? If there was ever a time, I would clap when the plane lands. So she does. So anyway, I, I say this with irreverent jest. I could care less what people do on the airplane. Uh, but there she is doing her proper airplane Instagram story. And I get it. We're bored. We're on a plane. You got a Delta. Although I've been upset, I can't travel with my emotional support animal. I've gained an emotional support pilot. Well, she's got a pilot over there. Is it, is it uh, pilot Pete? I'll tell you what. I, you know, I'm not the type who has to like get the rosary beads out before a flight, but if pilot Pete is flying the airplane, knowing what we know about him, I'm like, please just get this thing off the ground and back on the ground safely. So she's there. She sees her babies. Jason Tartik's at home waiting for an old buffalo, which I believe it's been snowing in the Midwest. Does that count as Midwest? Not really, but it feels like it. Uh, so there they are. She got her dogs back. Oh, how cute. A nice reunion with the pups. We love Kate. She's getting just suffocated by a dog. That's how you know your dog's got love there when they're willing to just rip your clothes apart to say hi. Oh, what a beautiful dog. Uh, so that's it. That's her. And then and then Tasha. we don't have much. We got them doing the dance. Again, I'm not going to play the uh, the WAP song here, whatever it may be. But, um, you know, the, the, it's going to be hard to go back to Chris Harrison. How do you follow this, guys? Leave a comment. What do you think? My thought is this. If they do bring Chris Harrison back, continue having alumni mentorships because I don't even know what's going to happen with this season, but this is the energy that will break down the set in a way that kind of cuts the tension so it can be fun because dating's supposed to be fun. I know that's hard to believe. With Claire's season, she gets there, she sits down, all the guys are all quiet, everyone's nervous, the sound guy's holding the boom, and she's like, why isn't anyone talking to me? And it's like, because we're nervous. Get out there, get the ladies to shake their booties, do your thing, like, the, you know, some beloved members from the past, and, and life will be okay. Now, 
What else do we have here? All right, this is the final clip. This is a 12-second video from the rap party. If you've never been to a rap party, I got to tell you, it's one of the most exciting things you can do. It really is. I don't mean, I sounded sarcastic when I said that. Uh, and this this video doesn't do it justice, the Bachelor Nation rap party. But um, every show usually, you know, when you work on a movie set or a TV, uh, movie sets shoot anywhere from like usually 15 to 40 days. So that can be like five to seven weeks, whatever it might be. And then, you know, you're usually working, the crew is usually working 14 hour days it's really long sometimes longer the longest day I've ever worked on set was 19 and a half hours and it's it's wild and after it's all done you know everyone makes a ton of money a lot of unions screen actors guild you make a ton of money and then afterwards you get to sleep for a month and you have a rap party you go crazy everyone kisses each other covid spreads whatever they do over there I don't know how it's going to work during the pandemic but the point is it's a wrap, folks. Now we're in post-production, and as we got the editors of the of the Bachelor in post-production, we're going to have the people getting ready for Bachelor in Paradise. So probably within the week, they're going to be flying out, my guess, in the next week or two to Bachelor in Paradise, which means they're going to have to announce who the host is going to be. And I am, I'm assuming it's not going to be Chris Harrison. Um, but I could be wrong. We'll have to see. I have no idea. Um, uh, I've got a couple other videos coming out today and then a 4 p.m. live stream. Uh, we're going to be talking about the ethics of um, how we report on The Bachelor. I'm going to do a video on that. Um, you know, just casual conversation because, um, you know, I do operate from the place where I think everyone is trying the best with the information that they have. But as we know, looking back, there's been a lot of like ethical questioning to uh, uh, people's sources. We're talking about reality, Steve here. Sources that have broken up marriage uh, relationships and, and also like like knowing when we've crossed a line into the contestant's personal life versus what's worth reporting on for the sake of the show. A little bit of drama is good. A little bit of gossiping is good. But at what point do we go too far? How do we know when we got to that point? And what can we do to like harness the pitchforks and not bring them out and realize that everyone's a human, everyone's trying to be better today than they were yesterday, and we need to stop putting these people on a pedestal? Because as long as we keep putting these contestants on a pedestal, we're going to be disappointed because they are just as lousy as you and I. And that's what's important to know. Now, quick promo. I just released this video. Uh, I re-released this on my vlog channel. This is a cake designing vlog I made last May for my fiance's birthday and my birthday. She wanted a Harry Potter cake. I made it for her and we got a whole video. So this is out on my vlog channel. You can see she, she of course, gave me a design board of what she wanted. By the way, I did a pretty good job getting close to this design board. She wanted butterball cakes. I mean, talk about dip. And then I made this. I made the layered colored uh, Harry Potter cake and for my birthday let's see if i can give you guys a spoiler for my birthday which is may 1st um i don't know if i got a oh here it is hold on i'm gonna give you this spoiler we played uh we played zoom beer pong but um this thursday i will be having my birthday live stream at 4 p.m today's live stream is also at 4 p.m so if you like the live streams monday and thursday 4 p.m there it is the covid cake this was from a whole year ago i uh i told my fiance i want a covid cake so she made me that with some if you can see right in here it's a ton of fun it's got twizzlers as the little covid balls and all that jazz so anyway that was last year's you can go check this out on the vlog channel right now go support me i'm actually surprised and my fingers are crossed at the crazy growth that the vlog channel has had it's it was a pet project as it's not monetized or any of that but my hope is that it soon becomes monetized and who knows maybe it'll be bigger than this main channel some people enjoy these vlogs better they're drama free they're fun we show my basset hound and anyway if you could go over there and give that video some love and a comment it would be much appreciated in the meantime stay tight is that a, saying stay tight, be a Katie, and let me know what you think of the promo if you're excited for the next season and much more content coming today. We have some Matt James and Rachel Kirk Connell photos we'll talk about and then a 4 p.m. live stream. So we will talk to you guys later. In the meantime, head over to the vlog channel. Bye now.